Hey YouTube, out here in the BR today on J6 Ranch. Just having a uh, quiet afternoon, enjoying the bees. Uh, they're flying good out today. Everybody's moving around real good. Everybody's looking real good. What I thought I'd talk about today is how I get my bees to make honey. When I first started beekeeping, that was a, uh, a confusing issue for me. I had to I had some issues trying to figure out how to get to get the bees to uh, make honey instead of just building more and more brood every time I went up. Um, uh, everything I was reading and seeing and trying to learn from was showing me that all I needed to do is put a honey super on. Everybody was was uh, you know you the thing about YouTube is uh, you ask a question and there's 1,500 answers. Um, but I want to talk about the easy way of doing it and how I do it and uh, we make it a little less confusing. One other thing I want to talk about is uh, my choice of attire. You know, I catch a lot of flack from the guys at the police department. Uh, a lot of my followers and subscribers don't know, but uh, my day job, I'm a police officer. But uh, the guys at the department, a bunch of pecker heads, they sit there and uh, they laugh and have a good time watching my videos, and I'm glad that they watch. They can laugh. That's for you, Hanson. Uh, I told you I was going to call your name on video, but I don't want to say it. But anyways, back to what I want to talk about. People laugh at me. They say, well, Kelly, you think you're some kind of farmer? Why are you wearing overalls? Well, I wear overalls because they got a built-in pocket. And uh, that pocket helps me to stay hydrated. That's the basic end short of it. It's not complicated. It's really that simple. I put my veil on just for proof of concept. You're in your bee yard, you got your Dr. Pepper. You need some place to put it? Put it in your pocket. Go to work. All right, YouTube. So the idea is you can see that I've got a queen excluder on. The simple way. If you're wanting to make honey, and this is your first year, second year, you put a box on, just one box, on top of your super without a queen excluder. So before you put your queen excluder on, you put an empty box of frames on top of your super that's full of bees, okay? So they filled out eight frames of your 10, and uh, now you're ready to fill up another box. You put another box on, whether it be a honey super or just a, a uh, deep super, you put another super on, let them fill it out. Once they fill this out and they've got it full of comb and brood and everything else, you're going to open this hive up. Say, say that Sunny Super's not even on here. You're going to open this hive up and you're going to take and check every frame and make sure your queen is down in this bottom box. And you're going to find your queen. Once you find your queen, you put her down in the bottom box, whether she's in the bottom box or she's in the, top, the second box or the third box, however many boxes you've filled out with, with comb. You make sure your queen goes to the bottom box, and then you put a honey excluder or a queen excluder on top of them. Then it's as simple as putting the boxes on. You let them fill this one up with honey, then you let them fill this one up with honey. I put this, both these boxes were filled with brood when I did this hive. So don't get confused by this third box. You don't need it. This second box will be just fine. This is gonna hold a lot of honey. You're gonna get five gallons of honey out of a honey super, maybe more. You're gonna get a lot more out of a deep super. But the easy way of thinking of it is, is let them build this, the two boxes out with comb. Make sure your queen's in the bottom box. If she's not in the bottom box, get her in the bottom box. Put a, a queen excluder above them. And then this, they'll, then all the eggs and brood will hatch out of this box and they'll backfill it with honey. And in about a month, maybe three weeks, you can take the honey out of this box. So nothing changes when you go and you're doing the, you, just, you got two supers on, okay? Tomorrow I'm gonna go into these hives, I'm gonna do a good work over and uh, do an inspection. And I'm gonna make sure my queen's in the bottom of this box. Once she's in the bottom of this box, I'll put a queen excluder on here and uh, exclude her from this top box. All the brood and uh, eggs will hatch out of this box and they'll backfill it with honey and I'll take the honey out of this box. That's as simple as that. That's how I make honey. 
that's that's the easy way of doing it that's the less confusing way of doing it there's a whole lot of things on youtube that makes it seem like it's more difficult than it is um, it's as simple as and there's going to be some old guys on here that's going to get on here and tell me i'm giving bad advice but there there is better ways of doing it i'm not going to argue that fact but my way of doing it is my way of doing it your way of doing it's going to be the, your way of doing it so if my way works for you i hope it's it's helpful um you don't have to complicate things for those of you that may be watching that don't know what a queen excluder looks like or what to be looking for um, there's two different types i've got one here that you can look at this is a queen excluder um, it's just wire mesh metal with the wood surrounding uh, there's two ways of putting it on most of them are marked this side up you'll see it says there this side up um, it's all about b space but if you if it doesn't if it isn't marked you can feel with your fingers let me see if i can show it to you this side that i'm pointing at here is a little thicker than this side okay so the thinner side the side that's closer to the bottom deep is going to be thinner it's going to go down like this okay if it's not marked if it's thick it goes up remember that a little pun for you guys at the pd anyways uh and you can get plastic excluders if you want to get a plastic i just seem to like the metal they seem to last longer for me um, I can get more years of service. This one's new. Um, I've got three old ones I've had for about uh, 11 years. They've worked out well for me. Um, but uh, anyways, you guys out there in YouTube land, enjoy your summer. And I hope that you have a uh, bumper crop this year.